Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Yokozuna Hall of Fame. So Yoko is this weekend's showdown event card, and he is a Hall of Fame powerhouse. He has two gears. Let's take a look at the gears real quick. Um, moves that generate botch gems will create 24 more botch gems uh, with one gear, and with the other gear, moves that generate silence gems will create 18 more silence gems. Very powerful gear. It may, definitely makes a huge difference on at least four of his move sets. Um, so I did a preview without his gear on those four move sets, so you guys can see what it's like if you do not get the gear this weekend. I will put a link to that in the description of this video. Um, let's take a look at the strap I'm using real quick. It is um, of note this red move damage metal, 133% move damage on the reds, uh, double fury. And two words for you, plate, 50% chance to create two random X-Break gems each time you use a signature move or swipe a gem. So that's the strap we're going to be using. Um, he does have a link, the Hall of Fame link. Any color move, start with four more move points. And he is a coach, all the way at 18k. Reinforced gems do 100% more damage. Very, very good coach. Great on Zombie Lashley, Mutant Cena, uh, Showboat, Austin, uh, Cole, Adam Cole. King of Kings, um, Hall of Fame Lawler, and Hall of Fame Trish, uh, just to name a few. So definitely a great coach for all of them. Uh, I actually tested it out on my 5-star gold Zombie Lashley, and I'll have a video out on that. I'll also put a link to that in the description of this video. Um, so with that being said, I have seven movesets for you guys. He's very versatile, a lot of different ways to run him. So I'm going to run seven movesets. Uh, it should go pretty quickly, as they're mostly pretty strong. Uh, the first one we're going to do is the what I like to call a super sub, uh, meaning we're buffing the sub a bunch. Um, guillotine Leg Drop, 10 MP finisher, deal 212k damage, and choose 8 gems to make into purple gems, pin the opponent. Bear Hug, 8 MP uh, purple move. Submission, choose 11 gems to make into red submission gems and do 35,900 damage for 6 turns. Uh, remaining submission gems turn into silence. And the headbutt, 1 MP purple, deal 51k damage, plus 17,990 bonus damage for every silence gem. Uh, we're going to run with Woods for purple MP to start. Zombie Brock for 3 turns longer on that sub. And... Uh, Purple submission moves do 20% more damage. Shelton for 15% more because he's not 9k yet because I'm a slacker. And um, I believe this is Nikki here. Yeah, it's Nikki, not Bree. Twin magic gets me every time. Purple subs do 50% more damage. If you had Papa Maya V at 9k, you get an extra sub turn for 10, and you'd be doing about 850,000 damage on that sub. Um, so let's get out here and take a look at this one. Uh, skill plates for this one, besides the two words for you, um, all heart would work great. Uh, that's after generating a sub, purple gem damage is increased for two turns. I want to say it's 100%. It's purple and green. Uh, that would be effective for this one uh, after the sub. This is a 1 MP move, so hit it every time. No reason to hold it. Alternatively, you could use uh, Sting and Butch and start with the finisher into the sub. Uh, if you wanted to, we'll see a variation of that later. Um, so for now, I'm using Woods for this one. You could also, instead of Zombie Brock, run uh, second Purple MP Trainer, start uh, turn one and feud, things like that. That would also be an option too. And we're going to load the uh, finisher off of the submission. Also, we can destroy a cro bunch of cross breaks if we want to. Um, no reason not to. Just have to be a little bit more careful um, that we leave some submission gems where they're not going to be broken. So it can be a little bit eh, but hopefully, you know, some of these should be fine. So you can see we did like 350k damage off of that choose sub. Uh, now we're draining his life. Finisher's loaded. Um, he did end up breaking it. No big deal. It was after he was drained. And we're going to hit the finisher and reload the sub. And possibly keep him down because it hits pretty hard. 
Unfortunately, the two words for you did not go off for us there. But you can see why all heart would be good. We'd be buffing all this gem damage we're about to, to throw out here. Oh, I guess we'll just do that. No Cascade. Hit for 700k. But he can't kick out. So, a pretty easy win. Next move set, um, and the, the one we just saw, I believe you can do that at four star. Yep, that's a four star move set. This one is, actually, I think you can do that one at three star. This one is four star. Because I believe the yellow is a second move set. Uh, so let's get this switched out. And this is why the two words for you played is on there for this one. It's quite good for this moveset. We're going to switch all the moves out. And the gear makes a big difference on this one. Front power slam, 8 MP yellow, deal 93k damage, make 21 silence into blast. Uh, side belly to belly suplex, 5 MP red, deal 69k damage, make 13 gems into silence. Back rake, 4 MP yellow, deal 65k damage, increase your red MP by 5. Entourage, we're changing it all out. We're going Kofi. For more yellow MP. Showboat JBL, for all of the blast gem buffs. Uh, 4 more on the generate. More on the damage, on the blast, and red. Very useful. Um, very, very good coach. Or trainer, rather. Does all the things. Santa Hogan, for some, since we're going to be blowing up the board, so all the gems hit harder. Even if he's 1100 for you, I would still use him. He's very, very good coach. And then Ray for an extra blast gem. So we're going to turn 25 silence gems into blast because of Ray. And he also does more Blast Gem damage. And because of the gear, we're going to make, I think it's like 31 gems into Silence. Um, if it wasn't so rare, I would have listed the Colossal Titan plate. Super, super rare plate. I believe it's Generate 8 Blast Gems, you get 200% gem damage. Obviously, that would be massive for this. Um, but it's extremely rare. Um, not ready turn one. You could alternatively drop JBL and go double uh, MP trainer. You're going to lose some damage. Um, that would certainly work though and be the way I would run it when the if that you had that colossal titan plate though. If you have a yellow match, you could hit this turn one um, and hit the red move both times. Um, we don't, but we can start it reloading anyway and just hold off on the silence gem move till next turn. And we're going to not let him get this black match here. Oh. Well, we ended up getting a Cascade. But these uh, X-Breaks gems are great with the Blast. You get a couple of those on the board, and it's very easy to, to clear the entire board. So we like seeing those. And I would normally hit the red move again for the damage, but I don't want to um, overwrite all of these X-Break gems that are out there, so I'm going to hold off on that. With so many cross breaks, definitely better off waiting. Now we just need to find a decent swipe that hits all the things, like that. And, you know, blow up the whole board. Little Cascade. And a million damage. Imagine that with 200%. Ooh! Alright. So, pretty solid move set there with the gear for sure. Moving right along. Uh, this is available at 3 star.
And you'll have seen all these uh, moves now. Just we're using them differently and in combination with different trainer. So instead of using the sub to load the finisher, we have the finisher to load the sub. So if we don't keep them down, uh, we can drain them. But no need to go over the moves since we've seen all of them. Entourage, we're going to swap around. We're going to put Lacey in here for purple and green gem damage. Since we're choosing purple, we want to buff that on the finisher. You could use the NWO plate on this one too. Uh, primarily after you use the sub, it would buff the red finisher damage. Move damage, technically, not finisher. So NWO plate is an option on a lot of these builds too. And starting with the two red MP trainers, let's, let's, get to, let's us get to the finisher right away on turn one. Do you guys know I like starting right away? It would be turn one in feud as well. And having the two words for you if it goes off when we throw these silence gems out gives us the chance to choose into it. It did not, though, sadly. So now we're making purples. Uh, we can try and do some cascading if we want. A um, lot of lot of ways we can go about it. Uh, oh, let's actually do this. I like this more. More destruction. That's always good. Row break that. Yeah. Let's do that. Seven hundred and thirty K loaded the sub. So when he kicks out, we can drain him and reload the reds. Let's just leave one and get as much damage as we can. See if I can get a better choose this time. I could have set that last one up much better than I did. And maybe we'll get our two words to go off here. Could also use Cheap Shot, of course. You guys know I love Cheap Shot. For variety, I just didn't um, mention it here at the beginning. Cascade into the red there for sure. And, oh, I guess let's just do that. A little bit better, 785k that time. And Cascade King Ivar kicks out. He's, he's turned into the Vader of the 5 star gold world for me. A lot of reds there. Three hundred and fifty K before the sub. Okay. And this should put him down for the count this time.
And now the two words goes off for us. Again, you could also use um, All Heart for this build set too. And you can see we got a, a big boom on this last one. 1.2 million. That's what I was hoping for earlier, so this match would be fast. No such luck though. Okay. Um, next move set, which I apparently didn't put the right graphic in for, because I'm awesome like that. It's okay. I can fix that on the fly. There we go. This is available at three star, very similar to the one we just had. Uh, instead of though, we're gonna put the um, back rake in instead of the sub, which we've seen this move before. Four MP yellow, 65K damage, increase your red by five MP. Smart use of our entourage uh, is gonna allow us to get this turn one. Um, because Shamrock has two yellow, one red, and we have two tour perks, two MP t t on our tour perks. And Batista gives us that one more additional red, so that'll fill all of the moves. We're going to keep the trainers the same, so just a different way to get to that finisher, but with more um, move damage in effect with Batista in there. So our finisher should be hitting much harder. Um, of note, though... This one is not going to recycle unless you use the time once again plate. So I would use cheap shot or uh, time once again, which uh, time once again is purple. Uh, match three purple, get three yellow. Uh, so that is the skill plate you would want to use for this. Uh, you can see side belly to belly is hitting for 187k. Uh, the great thing is, though, we get to hit it twice. So extra damage there. Also, more chances for the two words to go off, which is a fine plate for this build set as well. Um, and I'm going to hold off on hitting this because I have four sets of those destroy the board gems out there. So I want to get all of them. Because that um, can absolutely make up and help us recycle because we're getting those matches and blowing up more of the board, also hitting harder. You can see we hit 1.1 million on that finisher that way. So there you go. Pretty effective. Okay, now we're going to see double red um, with the silence move, which I believe we have seen all of the moves now. So I will just equip them. Um, and say what they are really quick. Actually, we haven't seen the five star yet, so now we'll have seen all of them after this one. The five star move is the Bonsai Drop. 10 MP finisher. He has two big finishers, two big 10 MP reds. This is the Bonsai Drop. Deal 300k damage and make 18 random silence into botch. The gear really, really, really works well here. Um, then we're going to bring that one MP headbutt back in. For the silence uh, gem damage because we're going to be throwing a lot of them out. Um, this one also doesn't recycle but you're going to see not really a problem with the gear in particular. Uh, if you want to see how this one runs without the gear I did that in my preview as well. Uh, double armor I believe would be the best way to run this. I'm running at double fury. So two red MP so we start turn one. Um, and cheap shot head games for sure on this one because it's a one and done kind of one. We are going to put Gargano on to buff the um, silence move. I think um, you'd probably honestly be better off running uh, double double move damage um, red. So if you have like Gooker, that would be who you'd want to use instead of Gargano. And I'm going to put Snoop on for this. I know he's a little more rare for sure. Uh, just to show some of the gem damage, or the move damage, rather, on this finisher. 
Okay, let's see what this one looks like. You're going to throw your silence gems out, which is 31 of them. With the gear. And then we're going to do 600,000 in bonus damage here with that move. Very nice. And then we are going to botch most of the board. So good luck, Cascade King Ivar. I wish you luck. While hitting for 745,000 damage. There you go. Again, much better with double armor, but you can see certainly doesn't need it. Um, now let's take a look at triple red. We're going to keep the exact same trainers. Um, the reason why you would run this one is if you're concerned about them staying down. Uh, you just have the second finisher in there to give you a second option uh, in case they kick out of the first one, which is very unlikely. Um, so basically we're going to see the same thing again, except we're not going to do that 600k in silence gem damage, and then we're going to have a backup finisher, uh, in case things go wrong. Trainer's exactly the same. Because he does make more botches, um, than silence gems, so Gargano gives us one more botch. Which isn't the biggest uh, deal in the world. There's obviously a bunch of other trainers you could use there. But in the interest of being uh, fast and efficient, we'll leave Gargano in for this. So you can see, board's botched. We hit almost 900k. And if they managed to kick out, we'd have that other finisher loaded right behind it. Okay, and finally... Uh, just one for all the people that want to see how hard the bonsai drop can hit. I'm going to go uh, full move damage um, ex uh, completely. You could also, of course, um, do some version of this with Damien Priest equipped. If you had him on the finisher, you wouldn't be able to start turn one, though. Uh, so keep that in mind. So we're just going to bring the back rake in. And go back to this little neat Shamrock Batista trick to get charged on turn one. And then we're going to bring Gooker in so you guys can see the big finisher damage. And keep in mind, I do not have a tier 5 metal. With the tier 5 metal, we'd be looking at an even bigger finisher. Again, cheap shot, head games. Um, for this, it's a one and done. Uh, double armor be uh, my preference as well. But you can use Fury uh, like I am. You could use Takedown as well. And this time we get to hit the red move twice. That throws out the silence gems. And I believe it's doing, I want to say, like, 200 and... Yeah, 222k damage, so... Nice additional chunk there. And we're basically going to botch the entire board now. And do 970,000 finisher damage. So, good luck to you, Ivar. I wish you godspeed, sir. Ooh, there he goes with the big old cascade. Still not going to make it interesting, but... Okay, so there you guys have it. Yokozuna, uh, Hall of Fame powerhouse. Really, really good. That was seven builds in 24 minutes, and uh, not even close to losing in any of them. Most of them uh, turn one wins. So let me know what you think in the comments, and remember to like, subscribe, and share as that helps me out. Other than that... Thanks for watching, guys, and good luck out there.